Welcome back to a new video here in our procedural war channel. Uh, this is what we got so far. This is what we're going to try and do this video. Uh, what I did in here is add some more options in here and now we can just regenerate it by a key press. And when we're not happy with some settings, uh, maybe the noise scale, just set this down. This looks a little smoother now. We can set this back up. It looks a little spikier now. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm overall I'm happy with how it's looking out so far. We can try playing around with these settings as long as we want. And last thing I did is I made a simple shader in here. We'll, we'll make this later in this video as well. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. It's, it's really simple. Uh, but first of all, let's just give it a little walk around. Here's how our game looks so far. We have some kind of uh, water level, as I suppose. We have some sand level. We have some grass level in here. And I made some very, very little hills. They look very spiky now, but we're going to fix that in the future for sure. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the code and see how this can be generated for yourself. Uh, keep in mind that this code is free to download in the video description in GitHub link. Okay, so this is our script. Uh, this is what we have. I have a struct, a biome, and I have some more settings in here. Uh, let's just completely delete this and bring back the old script that we had in the last video. So what we do in here is just create some chunks and inside those chunks add some Perlin noise so we can disturb the points. And here is where we left off in the, in the last video. We had just some uh, white noise that generates a terrain. Obviously we could just play around with the values, but this is a sorting point, but nothing more than that. Uh, let's improve on this script and let's have it how we had it in the, in the beginning of this video. So I'll just, I'll just add what's missing from the beginning. So to start off, we had some biomes and in here in top, we had a struct of biomes. So let's do that. Let's create some noise settings in here as well. Now that we have the noise settings, let's create a reference to this biome and let's put it inside of a list. And let's create one more vector too. Okay, now that we are done with the referencing, uh, let's start and updating this code in here. In the update, what I'm doing in here is just, I'm listening for a space key down press, and then I'll build a function to regenerate the terrain. So I don't have to press play and then play and then press stop and then play again when I want to change variables. So this is going to come really handy when we are fine tuning our variables. Uh, let's continue with updating the update chunks. Okay, now we are done with the generate chunk. Um, I, I made some small modifications in here to add this biome thing. So we have some variation. This biome creation requires a get biome, which gets us the current biome. And then we are layering this noise so we have a better looking terrain. So let's go ahead and um, build those two functions down here. So let's do a get biome. Okay, here is our get biome. Uh, it's actually very simple. All it does is it just iterates through the biomes and it checks if this noise in here that is the past is greater than this. If it is, then just create, then just return that item from the, the list. If it's not, then we are returning the, the, the lowest 
biome, which was the ocean or the water level. Uh, now let's create the function get layered noise. Okay, now we are done with the writing in the script. Uh, this is what the script looks like if you want to write it on your own and not get it from the GitHub link. Here is the full entire script. Uh, as a bonus, I will be creating a regenerate script function down here so we can generate it on playtime. Here is what the regenerate terrain script looks like. And now let's try and save it and go and see if we can play the game. Uh, for now, we seem to have an error that is completely flat. It's just almost completely flat. And uh, I think I'm not taking into consideration one of these values. I'll just check the code right now. Uh, yeah, here is the problem. Uh, when we generate the layered noise in here, we are not adding the height scale. So let's just do times height scale times current biome height multiplier. Okay, this should fix our game. All right, yeah, we have a world. Um, it looks very pointy and as I explained in the last video, we can fix that by just changing the noise, the, the, the noise scale in here. And it looks very much more smoother. Uh, we, we also need to fix the noise scale in here. So noise scale modifier is all the way up in here. So let's just bring that down like this and it should give us some smoother results and it really does uh, I don't know why my height my mountains are not working oh yeah they are working they're just very spiky okay so now in the next videos we are going to just try and fine-tune this and then spawn things on top of this world and uh, we should have a playable game by that uh, the very last thing that I want to do, or maybe I should leave this for the next video, this shader graph. Let's leave this for the next video. Uh, if you want to have that playing in your game, this is what the shader looks like. It's really simple. We're just taking the vertex color, which we are setting by code. This is completely not needed. Just delete this. This is just me testing out the shader. Uh, but what we're doing, this is also need, not needed as well. What we're doing is we're taking the vertex shader. We're applying some lerp to it by a multiply by a, a float value. And then we are smooth damping it by a float value as well. And then we're passing it into the base output shader. And the, the, the result is this. Uh, later on, we are going to try and make this a little more high res because it looks very pointy right now, very triangulated. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.